Welcome to Vacuum Wars. Today, I want to compare three of Roborock's most popular robot vacuum mop combos, the Q Revo, the S7 Max Ultra, and the S8 Pro Ultra. I own all three and have put them through extensive tests over the past few months, and in this video, I'll go over their similarities and differences and give you my opinions about which one I would recommend and why. So links in the description, and let's get started. First, the basics. The Q Revo is the least expensive of these three, and the S8 Pro Ultra is the most expensive. They all come in two different color options, a black or a white version, typically sold at the same price. One quick note is that the S7 Max Ultra has replaced the S7 Max V Ultra, which seems to have been discontinued. The new S7 Max Ultra is primarily different because Roborock did away with the camera in the obstacle avoidance system and went with a cameraless structured light system like on the Q Revo and S8 Pro Ultra instead, but more on that later. All three are very similar and very good with basic tasks like picking up various types and sizes of debris on hard floors and carpets. They all have similar hardware for vacuuming, including an adjustable brush housing and a single side brush for sweeping. The more expensive one, the S8 Pro Ultra, does have two main brush rollers where the others only have one, but in our tests, we didn't find this to be much of an advantage for the S8 at all. The S8 Pro Ultra also has slightly more suction power according to Roborock. All three have really advanced mopping functionality, but they all mop in slightly different ways. For example, the Q Revo has two spinning brushes, which also apply downward pressure, where the S7 Ultra and the S8 Pro Ultra use a single flat mopping pad that vibrates as it applies downward pressure. Though the S8 Pro Ultra has two places on the pad that vibrate, where the S7 only has one. All three also have a feature where the mop pads automatically raise up when the robot senses carpet, which is a pretty big deal because, for the first time, this allows robot vacuum mop combos like these to vacuum and mop floor plans that have a mixture of hard floors and carpets in one run instead of two separate runs, which makes them much more efficient. One difference here, though, is that the Q Revo's pads lift up slightly higher than the others do, 7mm versus 5mm. I've tried all kinds of ways to test for differences in their mopping ability. We do torture tests where they mop dried on stains like grape juice and coffee stains, and they all mop it up with no problems at all, which is pretty amazing. But despite them using different methods to mop, I can't really say that any one is better than another. All three of these have ultra docks, which are charging docks where the robot automatically empties its dustbin into a disposable bag. All three ultra docks automatically wash the robot's mop pads. The S7 Ultra and the S8 Pro Ultra have a mechanism that moves back and forth in the dock itself to wash the pad, where the Q Revo spins both of its pads over a raised plastic surface in the bin, and the water that is used in both cases is drained into a dirty water tank. You can control in the app how often they return to the dock to wash their pads during each run to keep the mop pads fresh. All three of these also have built-in heaters, which blow warm air on the mopping pads after each run to make it more sanitary. It's hard to say which of these Ultra Docks is a better design. I haven't had any issues with any of them, though I will say that the Q Revo design does have a lot less moving parts than the other two, so that could be considered an advantage for the Q Revo. They all map and navigate in a very similar way. They all use the same basic LiDAR system on the top to map the house, which all of them did in about five minutes. They all scored almost identically in our various navigation tests, where we run them on the same floor plan several times on different power settings, where they were all significantly above average at navigation efficiency and coverage. They also have almost identical battery specifications, and based on our tests and calculations, they could all get about 1,200 to 1,500 square feet per charge, which is above average even for robots in this price range. One area where all three differ significantly is with their obstacle avoidance systems. This is their sensors that are mounted on the front of the robots, which help them to avoid household objects that other robots would get stuck on. The S8 Pro Ultra uses a slightly upgraded version of these sensors, with lasers on the side and a light, and it performed better in our obstacle avoidance test than the other two. The Q Revo did the worst here, and I'm not exactly sure why. Based on everything I can tell, it uses the same sensors as the S7 Max Ultra, but maybe it has a less powerful processor or something. I did recently upgrade its firmware and test it again several weeks later, but with the same results. The takeaway here is that the more expensive one, the S8 Pro Ultra, has a notably better obstacle avoidance system, followed by 
by the S7 Max Ultra and then the Q Revo. One area that all three of these Roborocks are very similar is with their apps and features. All three use Roborock's really excellent app system, which I find to be easy to use and packed with the very best features in the industry. Things like virtual barriers, zone cleaning, specific room cleaning, all kinds of adjustments with power levels and water and scrubbing levels, multi-level mapping for multiple floors, 3D mapping, advanced scheduling features. They all have carpet boost where they will boost their suction power when vacuuming carpet. Basically, it's just about everything you could want in a robot vacuum app, and there are no significant feature differences in the software between these three models. So what are my recommendations? You might be able to tell that I don't think that the average user will be able to tell much of a difference between each of these products in terms of the way that they clean your house or the level of automation that they provide. If the obstacle avoidance system was better on the Q Revo, I would say that it was a no-brainer because of its much cheaper price. It also had the best performance scores of all three, despite being the cheapest, though it was close. To me, the only advantage of the S8 Pro Ultra is the better obstacle avoidance system. The S7 Max V Ultra is the middle child. It's right in between these two in every possible way. I do think that these three represent the state of the art right now in the robot vacuum world, and you can't really go wrong with any of them. So links in the description to all three, and be sure to subscribe to Vacuum Wars before you leave. Thanks for watching.